from Roy's Garage. Today I'm going to be working on a 2012 Subaru Outback 2.5 liter automatic. I'm going to show you how to replace the brake master cylinder. These are the tools I'm going to be using today to do this job. A 3 8 ratchet, 3 8 extension, 12 millimeter socket, 12 millimeter tubing wrench, Phillips screwdriver, air gun, a bottle of water with a hole on the top, and my vise. These are the parts I'm going to be using today to do this job. A brand new brake master cylinder and dot 3 brake fluid. Okay, so I'm going to be replacing this master cylinder. It's going to be on the driver's side, right in front of the driver, in the engine compartment. I'm going to be replacing it because what's happening is when they're at the stop holding the brake, the brake pedal is sinking to the floor. So what's happening is there's rubber cups in this brake master. It's worn out and the fluid is bypassing the rubber cup. So that's why your brake pedal is sinking to the floor. So I'm going to be replacing this brake master. Okay. First, removing this electrical wire. This is for the level sensor. Just push this tab in and pull it out. Okay. Remove these brake tubing. So there's two mounting bolts, one here and one here. We're going to be removing. Okay, removing this bracket. Removing this brake tubing. Pulling out the master. If you notice the back of the master cylinder came apart. They're not supposed to be like that. So I'm going to be pulling out this back section. So I mounted the master cylinder in my vise. Removing these plugs. Filling up my reservoir with dot 3 brake fluid okay so with my screwdriver I'm gonna be pumping the master cylinder to get the air out so I'm gonna be lifting up my fingers pushing it in cover the holes and then release the master just keep doing that until all the air comes out. Once the air comes out, then put your covers back on. Now we can install the master. Okay, installing the master. Okay, so before you bolt it up, connect your brake tubing to the master. Okay, now you can bolt up the master. Put this bracket back on. Okay, tighten up the master. Tighten up 
tightening up the brake lines. Connecting my fluid level connector. So I'm gonna be bleeding my master. Start up the vehicle. Pump the brake. No more than halfway. Oh, feels like I got pressure already. So I'm gonna be pressurizing the brake system with my hood prop. One against the brake pedal, the other side against the seat. So now I'm gonna be opening up the brake lines just to see if there's any air. Okay, we'll try one more time. Pressurizing the brake system again. Opening up the lines again. Okay, that looks good. No air. Tighten it up. Loosen this one. Okay, that looks good. Tighten them up. So I'm gonna be shooting this down with some water because brake fluid is water soluble. I'm drying it off with my air gun. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna be pressurizing the brake system one more time. Now we're checking for leaks. Everything looks nice and dry. Make sure you top off your reservoir and you're good to go. So that's how you replace a master cylinder. If you have any questions, comment below. Make sure to subscribe. Give me a thumbs up and I see you in the next video. Aloha.